What's good, Gravitating the Way family? It's your boy. All right, this will be quick. I'm not uploading a lot of videos right now because um, I'm going in depth more with the kids that I work with. Um, I still do the homelessness task force, but you know, I'm in my other area right now dealing with um, just children with incredible needs right now. And I'm doing more training on the therapeutic side uh, to get licensed and um, help in areas of concern mentally where they really need it. Uh, but I'm making a quick video, this won't take long. It's in response to a woman. It's in response to a woman basically that I uh, was listening to uh, speaking on the issues of the black community where a question was asked to the host of Night Talk. And the question was basically, you know, why is all this going on in, in the world of hip hop? You know, i.e. meaning black community, let's get that straight. And um, the question basically was surrounding, you know, the increase of deaths and murders specifically, and how our culture, it seems like it's on the decline of moral responsibility. And the woman, who seemed to be a Latina, basically dismissed the question as why do we have to phrase concepts in the black community as black on black crime? Number one, if you're black, you should never worry about the term black on black crime because you represent that of your community, the black community. So it should always be an issue, just like it should be an issue if you were white and there's white on white crime, Asian, Asian on Asian crime. Latin, Latin on Latin crime. But she disingenuously dismissed that question as rhetoric, basically. And guys, it's not rhetoric. You know, um, we got a problem on our hands. And, you know, her position was to the liking of Kevin Lyles going on The Breakfast Club a while back, which I made a video on that. And Kevin Lyles disingenuously stated that there's no such thing as you know, a real issue of black on black crime in hip hop because hip hop is just storytelling. And uh, talk about a lot of crap, man. We have reached a stage and a peak that's now heightened at the toxic levels of which what hip hop is. And that is rooted in the breakdown of the nuclear family in the black community. You know, whether that may be not having a father involved or having a single mother who can't necessarily teach, you know, children, specifically black males, of what it means to control your emotions, of what it means to be the best man that you can be. Nonetheless, we are now at a crossroads, guys, with morality and truth versus what the Latina woman said, which is people just you know spurring or spewing rhetoric um this isn't about racism guys you know if you're in my community and i still live in urban areas um i deal with this youth and i see the problem at its core guys um we gotta stop getting emotionally bothered when you hear black on black crime um at the rate that is going in and in hip-hop it goes hand in hand with what's going on in the black community specifically again. And I use these words specifically because we got to take it to where it's at. R the root problems. It's with the destruction of the black family. Now, if you're one of these people that have all these conspiracy theories or you have uh, an opinion that's backed up with facts of outside influences contributing to it, I say it's, it's irrelevant. We hold the responsibilities and accountabilities to say that we need to take heed of what's going on and take, take it at our hands to eliminate the detrimental issues. No more can we sit down and blame the quote unquote white man. No more can we blame racist America, white supremacy. These talking points has erased accountability where it is much needed and is suitable for conditioning our children to recognize the issues and combating the problems. I'm gonna speak more about this later. I would love some of your opinion, people, but 
I was so bothered by that lady's disingenuous approach towards a proper and totally normal question that we should ask more. What's going on in hip hop? And again, when you hear hip hop, I take it to the liking of the black community. You know, stop being offensive. Let's actually analyze these issues. Let's observe the facts. And let's just be honest, people. Black culture has become toxic. And the main reason why there's an inability to fix the issues is because that, that in and of itself, we refuse to talk about the problems. We refuse to address the underlying roots of what causes this. It's right in our face, but somehow we want to stick to this whole white supremacy thing. Very interesting. Get back with me. I would like to elaborate more on this. Again, I'm in training to do my clinicals for um, therapeutic measures in reaching these children, man. You know, you get people always ask you, you know, what are you doing? Because they disagree with your approach and um, putting the accountability on ourselves in this community, black community. So when you have a unpopular opinion that doesn't go with the narrative that white supremacy holds all the control of how we are to navigate and climb above these roadblocks, you know, people are quick to tell you, what are you doing? Listen, my works is word of bomb, man. I don't preach or talk about these things and not have my foot in the fire or feet in the fire. I'm, I'm on the ground doing the work, people. And I like to do these videos just to show, you know, I'm never going to be one of these bloggers or people that just wants to generate likes and clout based off unpopular opinions or get shock and awe, you know, um, reactions. No, man, my feet is in the fire and I say, let's all be a part of this. But we got to address the issues. We cannot ignore it and we cannot simplify it. As the Kevin Lyles of the world said, hip hop is only storytelling. No, brother, it is detrimental reality.